a busy month part 1 birds and their nests introduction in this video we will learn about birds and their nests like every other day zia is sitting at her table and studying bobo is also sitting near her while studying zia suddenly hears the sound of birds chirping ha huh? bobo can you hear that let's see where this sound is coming from when zia looks out the window she notices that several birds are sitting on the tree outside wow there are so many birds here look bobo there is also a bird's nest on the tree then suddenly zia's grandpa comes into her room zia what are you looking at i am looking at the birds outside grandpa oh really let me also take a look grandpa looks out the window oh zia the birds are so beautiful there are many birds nests near my house too that must be so nice grandpa then you must know a lot about birds nests absolutely zia ah uh, so grandpa do all the birds live in similar nests no all the birds make different kinds of nests but grandpa how do birds make their nests they don't even have hands like us <laughs> yes, they certainly do not have hands like us. That is why they make their homes with the help of their beaks. Oh, I see. Do you know Zia? Last year, while going to the market, I saw several stones on the roadside, and an Indian robin had laid eggs in the empty spaces between those stones. Have you ever seen an Indian robin? Was that an Indian robin's nest? Yes, Zia. Yeah. There was a nest made up of grass, and to make the nest comfortable, delicate branches of plants, roots, wool, hair, and cotton were also spread over it. Grandpa, do all the birds make nests with such soft things? No, Zia. Yeah. The crows use wooden branches and iron wires to make their nests. They build their nests high up on a tree. And do you know Zia, the coil bird doesn't even make its own nest. So, where does she lay eggs? Do you know where the coil lays eggs? The coil bird lays its eggs in the crow's nest and the crow takes care of the eggs along with its own children. Ha, huh? is that true? The coil is very clever then. <laughs> yes, that is true. Zia then starts thinking about something. What happens here? Grandpa, there is a pigeon's nest in the balcony of your house. So does it mean that pigeons make their nests in our houses? <laughs> Do you also think that the pigeons make their nests in our houses? Sometimes Zia, but most of the pigeons build their nests in old and deserted buildings. And a sparrow also builds its nest anywhere. It can be above the cupboard. behind the mirror or on top of the wall of the house oh wow then we can see them every day yes we can see them but we shouldn't disturb them hmm zia there is also a hanging nest which is built by a bird named sunbird ah huh? a hanging nest How is it made? Have you heard about the hanging nest? 
to make their hanging nest the sunbird uses hair fine grass thin twigs dried leaves tree trunks cloth rags and even spider webs grandpa birds have to work very hard to build their houses unlike us the things which they need to build their houses are not available in the shops ha <laughs> ha what you said is absolutely correct building the nest is only the beginning of their hard work raising their children and taking care of them in those nests are way more difficult tasks hmm grandpa today i learned a lot about birds now i am thinking of seeing the nest on that tree once of course go take a look but don't bother them okay grandpa uh, come on bobo let's go out and see the nest <coughs> zia and bobo step outside to see the bird's nest summary in this video we learned about birds and their nests in the next video we will learn about the use of birds feet and beaks we will also learn about the different types of teeth of various animals